is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 lexus ux 250 hybrid courtesy of bobby ray hall lexus in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because i have never reviewed this car ever in the history of my channel so that makes me pretty excited to go ahead and check this one out not only that you get over 40 miles per gallon in this thing so if you have a long commute to work this is certainly an option that you may want to consider and there's actually a couple of new colors for the 2022 model year as well and so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing it. So as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the UX. First one is essentially the base trim starting at $36,425. Then you have the F Sport starting at $38,765. And lastly, the luxury starting at $41,465. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the UX is going to be the same. Powering the Little Beast is a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder plus two electric motors as well. Of course, with this being a hybrid, Putting out a combined 181 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 221 pound-feet of torque coming in at 3,000 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels. Yes, this is an all-wheel drive configuration only and a hybrid. That's pretty darn cool. Power sent to the ground through a CVT 0 to 60, approximately 8.6 seconds. We're going to test that out in a little bit here. Top speed 110 miles per hour with MPG numbers. Get ready for this, you guys. 41 in the city, 38 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel that's that's good on all parts right there but anyways before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our ux250 hybrid do want to mention to you guys the drive modes and so in typical lexus fashion that drive mode selector or stock i guess you could say is located kind of just in the upper right hand corner of the gauges above the gauges there and that's going to include different drive modes like eco normal sport and ev mode where it's pure electric driving as long as the battery is fully charged that is pretty darn cool driving mode there especially for city streets adjusting things like the throttle response steering sensitivity and all-wheel drive system engagement as well and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway because quite honestly 0 to 60 in 8.6 seconds isn't the quickest number in the world so let's go ahead and put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new ux250 hybrid here up to speed but before we do that we have a little turning radius test here as i quite often do whenever i am in mechanicsburg let's see how well we do cut the wheel <laughs> one of the best i have ever tested quite honestly i figured it would be that way because this is a smaller vehicle but turning radius on this thing is amazing so if you're going to be using the ux and city streets this thing is definitely where you're going to want to be at that was literally out of the past 600 plus cars i've tested one of the best turning radiuses. But anyways, let's get back to that acceleration. I'm gonna find that straight away. Let's put this thing to the test. All right, you guys, from a standstill in three, two, one, go. Support mode, by the way. You know what? It's not that bad. You shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway. It didn't feel like it did 60 and 8.6. It felt a little quicker than that. So you shouldn't have any issues there. Um, definitely not the quickest thing in the world having said that but still plenty of an acceleration emerging onto the highway but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 12 inch ventilated front disc in the back 11.1 inch solid rear disc as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes it comes in in an extremely impressive 117 feet and by the way braking feel is brilliant in this thing you typically don't find that in hybrids you definitely don't find that in electric vehicles for the most part so i was kind of hesitant i was kind of curious how the braking fuel was going to feel and the number kind of speaks for itself 117 feet is great typically with suvs and even sedans you get upper 120s you can suvs typically 130s but 170 feet that's really really good and braking feel is excellent it's definitely on the firmer side of things instantly bringing you to a stop but anyways then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back same exact thing independent mcpherson strut suspension gas pressurized shock absorbers as far as ride quality goes it's actually soaking up the road imperfections 
quite nicely, but I will say so far at least, Mechanicsburg's roads are pretty darn good. But I will say ride quality is plenty fine as expected. We're in a Lexus. It doesn't even have an adaptive suspension or anything fancy, but ride quality is still plenty fine. As far as steering feel goes, it is a noticeable difference depending upon which drive mode that you put it in. I just put it back in sport driving mode. It is a much heavier feel to the steering. And then if I were to turn this back to eco mode, instantly loosens up. Still not that bad though, quite honestly. I expected a little bit looser feel than that, but either way, steering feels pretty nice. As far as cabin noise goes, what I did notice, you guys aren't gonna hear it because I'm now coming up on a stop sign right now, but at higher speeds, maybe 50 plus miles per hour, there is a little bit of wind noise. I think it's coming from the moonroof here. So uh, it's not bad. It's definitely not something that would bother me. And maybe it's because the rest of the vehicle is so dang quiet. You do hear a little bit of wind noise. That's all I'm saying there. And touching on visibility, this is definitely a smaller vehicle. So you're absolutely not going to have any issues with rear visibility there whatsoever. Also wanted to mention though, there is a head up display available that goes for $500. So if you wanted that, you can get it. We don't have it today, but it is available. Rain sensing windshield wiper center, are going to be part of a premium package that goes for $975 kind of assisting with visibility there as well. Essentially what that is, is whenever the UX detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on this windshield wipers for you. It's kind of like automatic headlights. Just one less thing you gotta worry about there. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Lexus UX250 Hybrid. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Lexus UX250 Hybrid finished in one of the new colors for 2022 being Cloudburst Gray. If you were curious what that color looked like, you are looking at it right now. The other new color for 2022 is going to be Grecian Water, which is going to be a blue hue, in case you were curious. You can always check that out on the website if you wanted to. But let's go ahead and start up front on the UX here. Lexus spindle front grille, of course, coming standard. And then take a look in the middle of it, though. There is a blue Lexus logo to signify of course that that is a hybrid that is what Toyota and Lexus does after all so I think that's pretty cool front air curtains to the side helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination of course taking a look at the headlights they are by LED headlights they come with LED daytime running lights they come with the automatic feature and they actually also come with automatic high beams I love that that's something you don't always get even on luxury vehicles so essentially if you got your high beams on it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim that back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's automatically going to bump it back up to high beams for you so one last thing you gotta worry about there but did want to mention there are premium triple beam headlights available for right around sixteen hundred dollars if you wanted to go that route it's just a little added illumination at night we don't have them today but still led headlights are absolutely amazing but it pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the ux all right so now since we are around to the side very nice looking side silhouette i gotta say now that i'm around here aluminum roof rails do come standard chrome window surrounds also coming standard power adjustable body colored side mirrors they will be heated coming standard with led integrated turret signals as well just about everything you could possibly want on those side mirrors you do have some hybrid badging found on the rear doors there towards the bottom i think you guys can see that there f sport badging at least if you were to go with the f sport trim level of course taking a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch split five spoke alloys essentially coming standard across the board for all trim levels however if you were to go with the f sport trim they will be a unique design otherwise those other two trim levels are going to look the same which essentially is what you guys are looking at right now of course but pretty much rounds out the side silhouette here again very nice looking side profile but let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of this one all right so now as i am climbing out behind the pine trees body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper of course led tail lights coming standard across the board you gotta love that once again the blue lexus logo and just below it all you will find a single exhaust outlet kind of tucked away down there but having said that i'm gonna give this a shot i typically do an exhaust clip at this point i think it's going to maybe start up for me but i don't think i'm going to be able to rev it as typically how lexus and toyota does their hybrids but we're going to give it a shot as always here is that exhaust clip I 
right so now since we are around to the back of the ux when it comes to opening that rear hatch it is a power rear hatch or power lift gate there's a button on the key fob there is also a button on the uh, rear hatch itself as well of course but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 21.7 cubic feet behind that second row at least if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split meaning those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it also wanted to mention in the cargo area you will find a first aid kit in typical lexus fashion they always do that i always find that pretty cool cargo lighting and not just that led cargo lighting coming standard you don't always get that typically you find halogens in the cargo area of just about all other vehicles out there plenty of grocery bag hooks back there i thought that was pretty cool and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you're actually going to find some in-floor storage i believe two levels of in-floor storage so that was definitely quite nice as well there's the first level which is a flat level and then if you lift up underneath of that there's like a compartmentalized level which is pretty cool but anyways pretty much rounds out the cargo area let's now go ahead and take a look at the rear leg room here so rear leg room is going to come in at 33.1 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in those rear seats rear ventilation does come standard there is a rear center armrest with cup holders as well and if you were to look just below that rear ventilation you're actually going to find two phone charging ports back there then as well and then make your way to the front seats eight-way power adjustable front seats do come standard meaning both driver and passenger seats are power adjustable it's pretty nice two-way power lumbar however just for the driver new lex upholstery coming standard heated and ventilated front seats coming with the premium package that goes for $1,515 and that of course comes with more than just the heated and ventilated seats of course my favorite seats still to this date of any other manufacturer are going to be the F Sport seats of course they're just going to come with the F Sport trim level we don't have that F Sport trim level having said that these seats are plenty comfortable this just F Sport seats are the most comfortable seats in existence that is all I'm saying there so definitely no issues with the seat comfort though but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and heated for an additional $150 if you wanted to go that route. But we do have that package today and I've been loving the heated steering wheel because it is kind of chilly out today. So definitely quite nice. Then making our way to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Lexus logo and it is highlighted in blue on one side. Then when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and of course that button to pop the rear hatch. But it is essentially all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that bright blue engine start button located just to the left of the climate control buttons and so then once started up when it comes to the gauges f sport is going to get its own gauge cluster it's going to be inspired by the lfa supercar of course but for the other gauge clusters it's going to be currently what we are looking at right now which is pretty darn nice as well it gives you essentially everything you could possibly need to know it gives you how many miles you'll have left until you hit empty which is 444 miles right now it gives you a digital speedometer readout it gives you what gear you're in it gives you a uh, battery life charging at any given time so you know when you can actually drive in ev mode on the city streets that's pretty cool and of course everything else outside temperature i could go on and on but you can adjust what is on the digital portion of those gauges by using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality there is a power moonroof that goes for eleven hundred dollars if you wanted that home link controls with an auto dimming rear view mirror we have that as well that goes for 325 dollars wireless phone charger we have that as well that goes for 75 dollars so couple options here i guess you could say but dual zone climate control does come standard but one of my favorite parts about the interior quality is this washi material found just below the infotainment screen it continues on just above the passenger side glove box but that is the coolest material and it's specific kind of to the japan heritage of this car this is 100 jdm or japanese domestic market including the door handles which imitate a samurai sword so I love that about Japan. You know, if you got a rich heritage, if you got a rich culture, embrace it. And that's certainly what Lexus does here. And I absolutely personally love it. But anyways, but so now making our way to the tech here, seven inch display screen coming standard for all trim levels. And that is not a touch screen. However, there is an optional 10.3 inch color touch screen display with navigation that is available for an additional $2,200 if you wanted that. However, you don't really need it unless you just want the bigger screen because either way you get Bluetooth and audio streaming either way you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay that's why I say that as long as you have a smartphone you just hook it up to the vehicle and you got Google Maps up there on that screen anyway so it doesn't matter you can actually check out your radio information up there of course as well and by the way when it comes to the sound system six speakers is going to come standard however 
eight speakers is going to be optional. But having said that, we do have the six speaker sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. And I'm not who I was before. All right, let me tell you guys, that was, it was decent actually. For a six speaker sound system, it's really not all that bad. And quite honestly, because of the size of the UX, six speakers may be appropriate for this thing. Eight speakers is gonna be a little bit better, but because this isn't such a large vehicle, you really don't need a whole lot more speakers than that, I'm being honest. But another thing I kind of had to get used to is uh, typically there's a volume knob up uh, above the climate control settings or whatever, but it's actually behind the touchpad controller and you just scroll your finger, which is kind of easy. And quite honestly, it might be better because you're just resting your arm there anyway. So I kind of like the positioning of the volume knob, quite honestly, in my personal opinion. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, at least, is when you do put the UX in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with a couple of different views as well, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, IIHS top safety pick, which is excellent. Front side, side curtain airbags do come standard, but also driver and passenger knee airbags then as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard will include a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane tracing assist, lane departure alert with steering assist, road sign assist, dynamic radar cruise control, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the UX250 hybrid, incredible miles per gallon, 41 miles per gallon, and really any vehicle is absolutely wonderful these days. Most comfortable seats ever if you go with the F Sport. Like I said, these seats are bad. They're certainly plenty comfortable, but the F Sport seats are just on a whole nother level, mainly because of the bolstering and you just sink so far into them. It's wonderful. Great interior quality on this thing. Specifically, I love the Japanese heritage in the UX, including the washi dashboard, as well as the samurai design door handles as well. That's pretty cool. Stellar reliability in typical Lexus fashion. Of course, this thing is going to last 200,000 plus miles. So you gotta love that. As far as room for improvement goes, it's certainly not the quickest thing in the world. It should be enough to merge you onto the highway, but it's kind of slow and not a ton of space inside of this thing. I mean, of course, Lexus does have other options if you needed more space, but still having said that, not a whole lot of space. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the UX250 hybrid in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.